what's up i just woke up i whoo, pulled an all nighter um i'm so tired <laughs> but i have to get ready for work so i will show you the process of me getting ready this is my kitty cocoa he loves to drink from the faucet I think he's still trying to get the hang of it. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. Hello everyone, I am done with my shower. So now I'm going to take you through the steps I do to get ready in the morning. So this is going to be me curling my hair for the day because I don't have a lot of time to get ready and I am on my way to work so this is going to be a quick tutorial first we brush out the bangs we do not brush wet hair we do not we go into my little cupboard here Hmm. I'll let this air dry just a little more. Okay, so as you can see, we let the hair dry just a little bit. We don't want it too wet, but we don't want it too dry either because we want this to be somewhat wet. And for my curling serum, I am using Got To Be Be Twisted Curl Reviver Cream, and it looks like this. Next, after that, I'll show you. But this is called Not Your Mother's, and it's called Beach Babe Soft Waves, and this is a sea salt spray. So we're going to use this after the serum. Okay, so what I do, take just a little bit like this. I have thick hair, so you always have to take that into consideration. How thick your hair is, the volume that you want, the curliness that you're aiming for, and then I just kind of like shake it around in my hair. Make sure you get all the odds and ends. Really a little dab will do ya. Just a little more. Don't go so heavily in the front more so in the back because that's where my hair is the heaviest and then do a little whoa 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 get that all in there and i think that should be good just kind of scrunch it through scrunch it scrunch it okay so it's looking pretty good bangs will work on after the um, sea salt spray. So. And next, we brush our teeth. So what I use is this Colgate Red toothbrush that I mentioned in one of my last videos. I use this toothpaste whitening therapy because who couldn't use a little whitening? And so it looks a little bit like this. Okay, so now we're going in with makeup, and you will see me do this in person, unlike you normally do, where I already have it on, and then I show you what I did. So now you'll get to see it in person. First things first. We are, I'm gonna clip my hair back. I'm gonna clip my bangs back, so they do not get in the way. <laughs> We go in with our lovely, lovely Fenty Beauty. We're using our foundation brush. Three little squirts. One, two, three. And then we go in forehead, nose, chin, side, side. And then blend it in all together. 
I always like to get the eyelids also. I think I said this in one of my tutorials, but I like to get the eyelids because it acts almost like a primer. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It's just how I do things. So we're blending it all in. Okay, so foundation is on. Um, let's see, what do I do next? Sheet. Um, let's do concealer next. So last time I did it a little differently, I'm going to do it how I've done it in the past. Just draw a little triangle under the eyes, right underneath to cover up any saggy bags or whatever. And then three between the eyebrows. And you know what? I have this weird thing right here. It's like a little red patch, so I'm gonna cover that up too. And then I'm going to draw right down my nose. And then on my cupid's bow, three little lines. On my chin, three little lines. Take your specified concealer sponge. And just dab, 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 dab. Dab with all you have. That should be a coin phrase. Dab with all you have. So we're just gonna dab. Okay, so concealer is on. I think now is a good time to do the salt, sea salt spray. So all we're gonna do is just take chunk by chunk, just spray it through. Make sure to get the back really well. I do have a lot of layers, so I always have to make sure to get each and every layer. And then do a little whoop, 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 whoop. The back says, now every day can be a day at the beach. Beach babe, beach babe is infused with sea salt and sea kelp for texture scepters. <laughs> beach babe is infused with sea salt and sea kelp for texture, separation, and body. Okay, so following that, we do our bronzing. So it looks like I lost two of my colors. So I'll go in with the tannest color I have with my bronzing brush. Tap it off, go. Okay, tap it off. You want to give a little dimension to your forehead and then each side of the nose and then under the jaw just to give it a little dimension. Next I'm going to do brows just because it's bothering me having the foundation kind of lightening up my brows. So I'm going to darken them with an eyebrow pencil. As I've said before, I always think it's a good idea to go one shade darker than what your natural hair color is. So my hair color is naturally a very dark brown. So I'm going in with a black. What do we think? Next, it's time for blush. And as per usual, I'm using my powder blush. So I'm taking my blush brush and I'm gonna take the um, top of the lid. Just kind of do a little pounce it off. Smile. Get those cheekbones, girl. Get those cheekbones. Don't do too much. You don't want it to be too blushed. Otherwise, you'll always look embarrassed. And then I do a little on the nose, a little on the forehead, a little on the chin, a little bit more on the nose. And that is blush. 
Next, it's time for highlighter. This is one of my favorite parts. So I'm taking my fan brush. I don't know where my mermaid one went. Oh, it's right there. But I'll take this one. This one's just as good. So do a little and then smile. Get right above the cheekbone. Make it look as natural as possible, but adding a little shine to your natural look. Right above the cheekbone. And then this side always looks shinier. I don't know why. And then I do a little on the nose. On the Cupid's bow. And just above the eyebrows. My bangs already cover them, so it doesn't matter much to me, but if you want to do it, go right ahead, girl. Okay, so as you can see, I did straighten my bangs. So I think the hair look is almost complete. We do have to add hairspray. But next on the list is, should I do eyeliner first? That's a tough question. I'll do eyeliner first. So I'm taking Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. This is my favorite, as you guys know. And that is from my kit. So sorry, that's kind of gross. Oh, um, that's a beautiful angle. <laughs> okay, so we're going from the corners. And I tend to do a heavier look, at least in my opinion. And so you gently yet firmly just glide it on. And then we go in with the other eye. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. So on this eye, I actually go from the middle. I don't know why. Just something I do, okay? Maybe one of these days I'll do a tutorial in the car. Because that's how I usually do my makeup. In the car on my way to work. So there you have it. Eyeliner on. So next is eyeshadow. Today I picked out a nice, here I'll show you, brown color. It's like a deep brown. It's pretty. And then on top of that, I'm going to go on with a nice gold. I'm taking my wide angle brush and I'm going to go into the deep brown. Gonna push it in a couple times into the pot and then glide it on. I'm going to go a little above the crease. I feel like this adds dimension once you put the gold on. So there we have the brown on. Oh my bangs are looking a little. Then you go in with the gold. Tap, 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 tap. And then just gently sweep it up above the brown. And kind of gently just melt it together so it blends in nicely. Okay, so there is our eyeshadow. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's a natural, kind of neutral look. So happy with it. And then, you know what? I have this roll on gold color. It's is it cream to powder eyeshadow pen so what I'm going to do is just sweep it into the crease I don't really know if it's doing anything but it might oh yeah okay it kind of added some dimension there we go perfect cool and next cons liquid eyeliner okay so for this I'm not using my usual Revlon color stay I'm using All May Liquid Liner in black. As I say in every makeup tutorial, you want to make a line. Don't color it in right away. Make it as thick as you want the line to be. But I wanted to do a, um, did I want to do, I, I want to do a wing look today. So what I do, I kind of spread my, <laughs> what a lovely angle, spread my eye like this draw a wing 
from the bottom and then just connect it to the top. Turned out okay. Okay, so this is the eyeliner look. And as you may well know, one eye is always going to look better than the other. That's just how it works. They're sisters, not twins. So next we're going in with our mascara. And I use Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. So what you do you go in root to tip. I'll kind of light my bangs over. Root to tip. And yeah, I make weird faces when I put on mascara. What of it? Root to tip. Separation and extension in the eyelashes. And it also kind of darkens the look, which I like and I put them on both upper lashes and lower lashes. All right, so that's done. Make uh, mascaras on. And now, whew, I'm gonna get out of breath. I had to move my two little fat chubby bubbies, my kittens, to my bedroom because that's where they stay during the day while I'm at work. We have a dog coming here today and he's kind of a big dog so I kind of don't want him to like eat my cats. So we're tapping the translucent powder into the um, top of the container. Let's roll it around. Tap it off, all the excess. And then move the things again. And then just sweep all over to make sure. I don't know if my mascara is dry right now. <laughs> Oh, scary to make sure that it doesn't move during the day when I'm working. Oh shit, I'm supposed to meet someone at 1.30. Okay, so we're gonna do this really quickly. <laughs> um, okay, and eyeliner or mascara just got all over my face. Okay. And then after that, the finishing step is the setting spray. I use NYX Matte Finish. So you just want to mist it. Make sure it does not move even a centimeter, millimeter, whatever smaller than that. Okay, I'm dropping everything. Okay, so you guys, that is my finished look. Hey guys, so I am on break at work and I wanted to show you that, oh, I still have my sunglasses on. Um, I wanted to show you the finished hair look. As you can see, very curly, very voluminous, and the makeup look. And it seems to me that it hasn't really moved so far. So that's really good. I feel very confident today. I'm having a great day at work. It's just flying by, honestly. It's um, going really quickly and that's good. Yeah, it's good that I got ready so nicely today because I forgot that I am going out with my friend CJ after work today. And we're gonna get some apps, some drinks, and it's gonna be fun. Um, I met him when I first started working here. He always came in before his shift at his job and he would get snacks and drinks and whatever and he was a regular everyday customer of mine and after a while we just became friends and so um, yeah I'm really excited to hang out with him <clears throat> today and it's going to be a lot of fun. So. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you want, if you want me to do more looks. Um, just leave a suggestion and I will definitely try it out and do the best I can. But otherwise, I am so glad that you stuck till the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys.